Hey guys, Faith Gamers here. Um, so I'm just gonna get, um, I just wanted to record a video of, I'm just gonna be feeding my, feeding all my tanks now. So um, this is my main tank. I breed albino corridors and guppies and shrimp in it. I have a big ass like um, ghost shrimp in here somewhere, but yeah, I've got a lot, bunch of cherry shrimps, bunch of guppies. Um, but yeah, this one, it's shrimp and guppies. Don't know where they all are. This one, also shrimp and guppies, and of course snails. This one, I have candy cane tetras, the big ones, guppies, and glow light tetras. Not glowfish, glow light, and albino corridors, and snails. So, um, yeah guys, let's go ahead and, uh feed my tanks. So this is all fluval fish food. Um, it's the fluval bug bites, tropical, the red fluval bug, bite, bug bites, and spirulina bug bites mixed together. So let's go ahead, give them a little bit of food, and you should see them all start swarming. There's a lot of guppies in here, and whenever they feed, they usually like to go over to this corner. Um, so let's, let's actually just put some in here, in the corner. It's where they usually go to. Yeah, so see they all just, and even the shrimp sometimes go all the way over here and start feeding. It's a feeding frenzy. Okay, now let's get this tank. This one doesn't need quite so much. Yep, there's some of the guppies. Yep, oh, there's all the, gu all the guppies coming up. But uh, yeah. This one's an exotic one, and I always overfeed this one because there's a lot in here, and they're, there's also babies, so. Yeah, so it all goes right there. They all know the drill, and they start swarming. Beautiful, beautiful guppies. Super vibrant colors. Um, the water is not dirty in this. It just There's tannins from natural wood. Um, but yeah, and some beautiful guppies. Um, cherry shrimps. Now this is a flu. Now these are Fluvaflex 15 gallon tanks. So let's do this one. This is my pride and joy tank because it's got my candy cane tetras, which are expensive as fuck. And I actually need to get some more because they are schooling fish, and I only have two left. Some of them did not make. A lot of them didn't actually make it, unfortunately. Um, and the albino, the albino bristlenose plecos also did not make it, unfortunately. But yeah, so those are the candy cane tetras. And now for fry. So this has aquarium co-op easy fry food. But it also has mixed in this stuff for shrimp. So you guys can tell I am a big fluval person. My filter is fluval. My two main lights are fluval. My main light is fluval. Fluval tank with fluval light. Fluval tank with fluval light. Um, fluval G3 canister filter. Fluval uh, FS FX6 canister. So, uh, yeah, guys, as you guys can tell, I love my fluval. But let's go ahead and feed this. It's a little bit, little tiny speckles, and you can see them, kind of. So, it's a little bit of each and every tank. And I do not use this stuff very often, very rarely. Most of the time, it's either this or brine shrimp. So yeah, and this is a um, water, an airtight can container, glass jar. Um, got a sponge filter in here. It's a lot of looks like a lot of brown shrimp right there, but let's go ahead and turn the light on, and we will see.
Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, yeah, there's a lot of brine shrimp. Um, I do have these vials of brine shrimp. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but yeah, I do. Um, as this Arcania Blender uh, brine shrimp hatcher. So yeah, that's good, guys.